Welcome back everyone, Mean Pooh here. And back in May of 2019, I did a repaste on the MSI Raider. Remember this? Yeah, when I opened it up, I was not expecting to see this white sticky material that is covering up the VRAM and VRMs. I replaced the thermal grease and then added some to where the white gooey stuff was located. Everything worked fine and I've had no problems. I was doing some research and found out the gooey substance was in fact liquid thermal pads. I located a seller of this on eBay and on Amazon by the name of Computer Systems. They sell the product and it goes by the name of K5 Pro. I believe the company is out of Greece and there's not a lot of info on the internet about it. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of buzz about the product. It is designed to replace thermal pads because sometimes it's hard to determine the thickness for replacement. It's also used for quick repair as you can put the paste on the object without measuring. It's non-conductive so it will not hurt anything when it runs over. I purchased 30 grams which came in twos of three. Just twist the bottom like chapstick to get started. So after I removed the case, I immediately removed the battery and then the fan plugs along with the AC power connected to the board. The screws holding the heat sink down are moved as well. I will be removing the pink thermal pads before replacement. Now let's begin to clean up the old thermal grease and thermal pads. The thermal grease wasn't hard to remove, but the gooey mess from before is. It takes a while, so be patient when removing. I use cotton balls and alcohol to get this done. I lost about 11 minutes of video because it was out of focus when I showed the heatsink. I will now add the K5 Pro to the board. Be warned, it may look like a lot, but this is normal. This is not thermal grease. When I was adding the product, I kind of got upset because I spent a lot of time cleaning the area. If you attempt this, it is very difficult to apply. After a couple of applications, it will become easy. Just add a modest amount and don't look back. Remember that thermal pads are different sizes and the paste will spread over the area as it is squished. Again, this is non-conductive, but it is messy.
Moving on, the application is finished and here is the cleaned up heatsink. For the CPU and GPU, I will use Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I will also use the line method. Now it's time to replace the heatsink. Don't forget to attach the fan and AC cables. Notice the K5 Pro coming from under the heatsink. This is normal. Lastly, attach the battery. Now a quick blow to clean things up. You can refer back to my GU75 Raider overview to reassemble. I tested the repaste with Red Dead Redemption 2. The first screen is before the repaste with no undervolt and using the performance profile in Dragon Center. Fans are set to auto, this way it will generate a little heat. The second screen is the same except it's after the repaste. And the last screen is the same as the second, but undervolted. Looking at the numbers, you can see the differences in the temperatures and FPS. This really is an improvement. You go from almost hitting 100C down to the 60s, all with the loss of around 4 FPS. This is not a bad trade-off. So now it's up to you if you think it's worth it or not. If you want more like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mean Poo, out.